Hi everyone, this is Farah and welcome to my channel. So excited to have you guys here today because I'm going to share with you my entire coat collection. Um, especially in the winter, that is your main outfit a lot of the times, you know, everything else is hidden inside. It's the coat that you're wearing, especially when you're out and about, um, whether it's going to go shopping, go out somewhere. Um, a lot of times the coat is the big ticket item. So that is what I wanted to show you guys. I don't have too many, but the ones that I have, I really love. So let me get started. The first one I'm going to share with you is my neutral camel color coat. This one is from Express. And this has no buttons or anything like this. It just literally is a wraparound coat that's got a tie that goes around the entire waist. Nice long one. This is really nice, especially for um, wearing on top of dresses for more formal occasions. I really pulled this one out just because of the classic nature of just like wrapping it and tying it, cinching it in really goes well with longer uh, dresses and more formal occasions. So love this camel color coat. And the next one is my only real pop of color, I would say. So this is a bright red one. This one is from Anne Klein. And this is just bright red, double-breasted coat. Um, it's got black buttons on it that kind of go along the front. And then the back has just a little bit of a, like a detailing uh, to show like a little cinched in waist area. But this one is um, not as long as the other one, but I do like anytime I want to pop a color. I think red is just such a, it's almost like a neutral pop of color. So it can go with, you know, everything from blue jeans to black trousers, um, wear oftentimes with boots. So I really love this color. I always wanted a red coat, so I love popping this out, um, especially for the holiday season. Red coats you can wear even during like Valentine's when it's still really cold. I'll oftentimes pop this coat out. Actually, that's when I originally got it was for um, Valentine's. And so I love wearing it for the holiday season, but nice pop of color to have. Then the next one that I have is another kind of fun one. So this one is my fur coat, if you will. Now, it's not really a full on fur coat. That would be fun. I always consider getting like a full leopard one, but um, I was like, okay, be honest with yourself. Are you really going to wear that much? Um, and I didn't think I was going to. So I like this one because this one does have fur along the collar. This is actually from Old Navy. Um, it was such a great, like, deal, honestly, because um, I love this coat. It's just like a cream colored coat. It's got uh, double breasted kind of pockets and a cinch tie plus pockets here. Um, I love the color. It's just like a very neutral, creamy, light color. And the cool thing about this is this faux fur does come off. So you can actually remove this all together and then it just becomes just like a simple white coat. So I love that it can have a dual function, but I think it looks really good also with the actual fur, um, the faux fur on it as well. So that's the next one. And I just have two more left after this. So another one is for those lighter days, just a classic trench coat. So mine is from London Fog. It has those beautiful tortoiseshell buttons, the cinch waist belt, with also the tortoise shell detail, um, all the little back flap and everything, which I think is just so nice. But this is, yeah, this is your classic trench coat. Um, I think it is a classic to have in your wardrobe, like a wardrobe staple. So I love it for that reason. But I often will find myself wearing it on more like rainy, overcast days when it's not really so cold, but I still want a little bit of warmth just because it is more lighter weight. But um, I think it goes well. Um, those times and this one also does really go well if you're dressed up a little bit more a little bit more formally so love my trench coat and then last one is just your classic classic black coat black wool coat um, mine probably could use lint brush through it but it is just your black buttons so black coat has some pockets on the side this one is from Kenneth Cole um, and this is kind of like a medium size, I would say. It's not too long or too short, so it's pretty versatile to wear. Um, the back has two little buttons that kind of just cinch in the waist area. 
So love this coat as well. So those are all the coats that I own. Um, I'm gonna try them on for you guys just so you can see how they fit. And you can see the collection is not huge, but I've got a variety of neutrals, the black, the trench coat, the pop of color with the red. So I think it kind of covers all my bases. So depending on what my mood is, what I wanna wear, what exactly the weather is, um, I have kind of different options. And I often will wear them with scarves uh, just to kind of play off on the coat itself. So the one that's the cream with the fur, you know, it already kind of has that little faux fur around the neck, but the ones that don't, it's really fun to just put a scarf on underneath, especially when it is actually really cold. So I love to kind of change it up, um, the style of the coat by wearing scarves. So let me go ahead and pop these coats on so you guys can see how they look on. All right, so this is my black coat. I love these pockets in the front. It's got all the buttons all the way down, collar. I love the shape that it gives um, because it does have the buttons in the back. But I think it's just a very classic coat. It looks really nice even when the buttons are not on and you have it kind of open. And then it's still nice just to kind of wear open a little bit more casual. I think a black one is just such a classic to have. So next I've got my trench coat. So this is just it open. If I were just to wear it like this, you can even let the belt just kind of be open, which is nice. Sometimes I'll even tie them along the back like this. Let them just fall down that way. But having it buttoned is probably the most Sherlock Holmes <laughs> look. So just button it all the way down and it really gives that nice silhouette. Bell open, but of course cinched is better. Now sometimes I will just cinch it just like that, um, but it, it does have the actual belt so you can actually go through the belt loop itself and do it the way it was meant to be done and tighten it this way. That way the belt kind of shows up on here. And kind of gives it more of that classic look. Okay, so trench. I will say majority of the time, I find for me, the trench coat is the most flattering just to have open, I don't know why, um, so most of the time I don't even wear it like this, unless I'm using it for actual like protection from the rain or the cold a little bit, but most of the time I think a trench coat for me ends up being more of a style uh, piece, so usually I like to just wear it open like this, I just find it the most flattering and um, just easy. So this is my cream coat with the fur collar that is removable. So if I didn't want it, I could just take this off. I'll just kind of show you, it could just be like tucked down like this and it would just be just a white coat. Um, but with it on, kind of gives that little extra flare detail to it. So here it is just open. It's also got the little ties here. It has uh, pockets here. But yeah, I love the color of this. It's just such a pretty color. And to believe that this is from Old Navy, like that's, it just goes to show you, you can really find good style anywhere if you just have an open mind and um, look out for it. So this is this tie. I love this one cinch. I think this one looks really good. Just cinched in at the waist. Because it kind of goes in and then flares out with the pockets and the fur the collar is really nice too so love that one here is my pop of color coat i love this red coat i just think it's so flattering the color on me um like i mentioned for the holidays for valentine's i just love to pull this out so this is the red coat and i love the contrast with the black buttons um I, when I was originally looking, you could also get the buttons in red just to you know match it with the coat, but I kind of like the contrast. I think it's nice. So this one also kind of cinches in a little bit, and this is it open. 
and then buttoned up. It's a really good length. This one is longer than my fingertips. I kind of like that this one's a little bit longer than my black one in case I want a little bit more warmth or just want a longer style. And this one also has the pockets on the side. So really nice. I absolutely love this coat. I was on the hunt for a long time for a nice red coat. And this one is a little bit more roomier because um, I can layer underneath it, but I was on the hunt for a red coat for a long time and I was just looking for the perfect red color. I didn't want anything too bright or orangey or too dark red. Um, and this was just like the perfect color for me. I really, really was happy when I, I found this. So really nice coat to have. Um, and nice to have that little bit of color when I want it. All right, and then my last coat is this camel colored coat uh, that I have. This one is nice to sometimes just wear. It almost reminds me of like a little cardigan. It's nice to wear open uh, just because there is no buttons or anything like that. It's just really clean lines, just nice, clean, open. So I really like wearing it just sometimes just like open, just kind of hanging. It almost reminds me of just like larger, you know, cardigan, like a coat cardigan. So it does have the belt in the back. Um, I can sometimes tie the belt off in the back, or sometimes what I've done is even though I've left it open, I've actually kind of tied the belt uh, along the middle or the side just a little bit, just to kind of give it like a little bit of structure, I guess. Um, so I've kind of had it sometimes like this little, uh, but if I really want to kind of go ahead and cinch it in, then I just kind of wrap it around. And then that way it's more of like your proper coat. And this one I really like because it's very versatile. I could even play around a little bit with the sleeves and everything and it's got pockets. So I like the color. It's a nice neutral to have. And this one is much longer than my other ones, um, way, way below the fingertips. Nice to really wear with some formal type dresses and things as well, so I like that one. So that is my last coat. So there you have it. There is my entire coat collection. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, my collection just has a lot of different varieties of lengths, colors, um, styles. So I like the versatility of being able to mix things up because as I mentioned, when it comes to coats in the winter, that's kind of the main thing that is the focal point of you know your outfit. So I like to kind of have fun with it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Please comment below if you'd love to see more videos like this. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts on what other kind of collection of videos you'd like to see. And if you are new here, I would be so, so thrilled if you would subscribe. I would love to have you back in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.